What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Alpha Central. Let's get straight into it. Are you heading to the store? Yeah. Why don't you pick up some of those pills that'll help you get it up? Oh, okay. Yeah. Back from the store? Yep, there you go. But these are diet pills. Exactly. <laughs> and just... <laughs> It's so based. It's so based. It's not me. It's you, honey. It's not me. It's you. And why he's not texting you right now? Because you're a headache. So I'm trying to play fetch with this stray dog that I found, but it's being lame. lame. Come here, buddy. That's a bear, I dude. I promise I'm nice. My man really did choose the bear. He'd rather <laughs> hang out with the bear than answer your questions about if he'd still love you if you were a worm or a cloud or a couch cushion or something. I'll finally chop these. I've never used a knife like Christina, this. Christina, yeah. take the knife guard off. Take the, there's the knife underneath I was that. wondering why it's Stupid. Oh my God. Surprise, no surprise. Point. Turn your knife around, turn your knife around. Turn your knife around. Yeah. For a sharper cut or what? You want to cut something with the sharp end of the knife. You're pounding crawfish with, in a mortar and pestle. I thought if you pound it, it will add more, it will bring out some flavor. No? No. I had no idea it'd be so far trying to cut the avocado. And then I see this thing in the middle. And I'm not sure if you're supposed to keep that or toss it. No, I actually agree. Bro, is it, are they for real? Like, I knew this when I was in middle school. That's got to be a joke. Do a question, and you better answer fast. Huh? Where were you last night at 8 p.m.? Fast. <laughs> you, better, you better answer fast, fast. That, my friends, is what's called using 100. I love it. You better answer real fast. Porsche or G-Wagon? Are you 24? Imagine buying your G-Wagon. Six years after somebody drove that car. Would you want a car still? So you being 30, well, why would you want you? Cooked. Ooh, cooked. Is, is when they use that logic Wrong. against what's, him. What's the problem? Last time I was here, I told you that my wife recently brought it to my attention. That I have an anger problem, mm -hmm. but it, she didn't say it like that. She said, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Code for you have and, an anger uh, problem. And she left, Conan. She left. Oh, your wife left. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. I know it sounds sad, but I got to be honest with you. My anger problem, gone. <laughs> <laughs> He's lucky. <laughs> All he needed was some peace and quiet, dude. That's all he needed. Please, I'm here to talk about your straining order against me. I didn't actually mean to say that all those words I said earlier. Get away from my door no, now. No, 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 no. Yeah, back. Got that psycho stare. I want to talk about that restraining order. Baby girl, get out of here. Better than a guy. Always. It does matter. Uh, step on the scale. No! Wait, Wait, so you won't step on it? To me, it matters well, only because it's preference. But you can change your weight. So if my preference is weight, why are you feel embarrassed to step on I the know. scale? Guys can also change their height. How? No, 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 no. Guys can also change. I guess you can go to Turkey and get your legs <laughs> extended. I know the modern dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt physically. Have you ever been the victim of a personal injury case? Every year as an image consultant, I meet so many different types types of clients, and a lot of them are recovering from injuries or accidents, ranging from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was extremely surprised to see how many people lost their personal injury cases, which is why I'm here to talk about Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they have won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working with them, they will fight for the money you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan secured verdicts of $12 million in Florida and $20 six million dollars in philly that's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer and i'm telling you your case could be worth millions and the best part is it's all free unless you win your case if you have also been a victim of a personal injury or a serious accident you can visit www.forthepeople.com levi found in the description below where you can start your free claim today like no, i no. want a nice guy well, that's good, right? No girl wants well, I've a nice never guy. said that. I've always been into like the heads or like the douchebags of the male community. This is why I say you got to do things that get results, not the things that are moral and ethical. Oh, great. And I bet that's turned out so well. Because I was so traumatized by them. I'm sitting there being like, I want a nice man. Like, why can't a guy just come to my life and be so nice and like be obsessed with me? No, oh, dear. And then I find like a guy that's really nice. And I am so thrown off. Like, I really did find a guy who's, like, super nice. Like, the most respectful, like, anything I really need, like, he's going to do it for you. But let me guess, there was a problem. I'm sitting there like, mm, ah, ah. Like, I'm the problem. I'm the 
problem. You are. Well, good for them and taking some accountability in this situation. You want, you want, these women want the toxicity. This is why you got to give your woman an argument every once in a while. You can't always be nice to her. If she asks you to do something, be like, nah, you're good. <laughs> I do it with Cass all the time. And the thing is, we've talked about this. Like, I ruffle her feathers on purpose because I know instinctually, biologically, she needs a little bit of that every once in a while. You can't always just be nice. Situation. I do want a healthy relationship. Okay, I really do. More than anything, that's what I want. Then Doubt probably it. start dating guys that aren't on the toxic side. I think I just still need a guy who, like, gives me a run for my money. I'm so the problem because, like, you're nice. Like, literally, like, Connor from Love Island vibes. But, like, it's just too nice. I don't even have to say much here because they really said it all. Because that type of mentality is the problem and why mm. so many women can't find healthy relationships. Because they want everything that goes with a healthy relationship except the guy that would go with it. Facts. The last. It's so sad, but this is the modern woman. Uh, this is the modern woman hymn right now. This is what they do. This, they all sing this. I want a good guy. I want a guy that's good to me, but I also want him toxic. Uh, you can't make this stuff up. How tall are you? How much do you weigh? <laughs> How much money do you got? How many bodies do you got? What's your credit score? Do you have any student loan debt? I love it. Do you pay all the bills? Do you cook and clean? Ooh. How big is it? How wide is it? <laughs> Check. About time. <laughs> That's so good. How wide is it? Baby. The tight ones hurt. <laughs> Maybe yours is too. <laughs> Maybe yours is loose. The tight ones hurt. It's a dirty game out here, bro. It's a dirty game. Before we start, if you're a dude and you be sending girls money that you have not cracked yet, no, I don't. stop doing that. Bro, do not send women money. End the simp, simp epidemic. Do not send a woman money unless she's like cleaning your house or doing chores or something or you hi you've hired her to do something. Don't just send women money. Come on. So my homegirl needed a ride to work, so I'm like, all right, cool, I'll take her to work. So we on the way, right, and we see a car. And let me tell you, this car looked like it hasn't been touched in years. Like, it's abandoned. Like, it's been there forever. And she like, hey, 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 pull over, pull over, pull over. I'm like, okay, all right. So at this point, I'm watching this girl walk around the car a couple times in a row. And I'm like, I'm confused. I'm like, what is she doing? So she come back in, and I ask her, I'm like, what were you doing? She was like, oh, I had to take a picture of one of the tires. She sent that picture of the tire on no. that car to a dude and was like, look what happened while I was on my way to work. OMG, I hate my life, blah, 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 right? Bro sends her $300. Talk oh. about I hope this covers everything. That's tough. Y'all getting finessed. Bro. So I start asking questions because I'm curious. I'm like, so how do you know, buddy? And she like, he hit me up on Instagram and he looked like he had money. So I just hit him with a trick my mom taught me. Her mom taught her. Her mom taught her. You know, right, that's why I say all this stuff is generational. Single moms typically raise women to be single moms. Bro, let me know, chat. Let me know. Do you know any women right now that are single moms, that their mom was a single mom, and their daughter's going to turn out to be a single mom? I know one. I know one. She's a single mom. Her mom's a single mom, has like four kids by four different men. And then she had a daughter and her daughter's going to be, uh, is a single mom right now. Like this, it's generational trauma. This stuff is taught. It's not just like, oh, it just happens. Like women need to be raised to be mothers because women in the dating market right now, they go out and they know what to expect from a man. But they don't know what a man expects from them. That's the sad part about it is they, they know the expectations they should have of a man, but they never know what a man expects from them. Somebody want to carry it? Free. Sit. Wait. Free. Go to your place. All right. It's such a big deal that they have to cook and clean for their husbands because that's so degrading and they're so above that. No, it's Yet, not. The maids or nannies or cleaners that they hire, that they'll pay pennies on the dollar for to do that, that's okay. That's feminism for you. Less than minimum wage those ladies make. That's feminism for you. They will eat kabbaru ala cooking for their husband and their children. The, the, the food that is their sustenance, that's going to keep them going, that should be made out of love. Should be, I cannot explain to you how. Bye from Bro, my mama's hands. Like, it, 
I mean, it, like, it just, tiswa dunya, sorry. Like, nothing is worth that. And you are it's preaching. acting all high and mighty and above that, like you're doing God's good work, you know? But you'll pay a girl who left her family to come pay her crumbs for her to barely live on it and send it back to her. That's feminism for you, by the way. That's lit- this is why I say I'm anti-feminism, because that's literally what feminism is. In a nutshell. And fight me all you want in the comments. I'll give you a million other examples why I'm against feminism. It's not. Bro, I love it. I absolutely love it. Cass is against it too. Because the thing is, a good cooked meal with love tastes way better than anything in a restaurant or anything like that. But like, Chad, do you agree? A good cooked meal with some love. Your girl singing in the kitchen, listening to her favorite music, doing her thing. Like, I love that, bro. I'm Emily. We got some guys that kept their balloons. Whoa. I'm going to give you this right here. And you can go down the list, pop who you don't like, and keep who you do to ultimately find your match. Yeah, who you don't like. And tell me why you, why you popping, why you don't like me. It's the way she's dressed, bro. Like, she looks like a runner. She's a runner, she's a track star. Like, it's not Halloween. Why are you dressed like that? <laughs> so you down to one balloon right now. It's 18 plus 5. 23. Stupid. <laughs> she said 21. <laughs> oh, man. 18 oh, plus 5. Man. Oh, 20. 24. Huh? 24. My mind went blank. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now your mind 18? is blank. Let's keep it a buck. Man, get out of here. 19, hey, bro, come on now, dog. Dumb. No, we got to give Dumb. her some credit here. Yeah. That question would have been hard. 18 plus 5. <laughs> And I'm horrible at math, chat. I'm like absolutely trash at math. So many people think that women behave badly because men today are weak. <laughs> well, then, so if you believe that your actions are based on what somebody else does, because I hear a lot of women say, you got to have somebody to handle me. Well, let me tell you something. I don't want to have to handle anybody. Why no. should I have to handle you? That means you are a person with, that lacks discipline. You do not know how to act yourself. So the thing is, is that if you are assessing your behavior based on what somebody is or not, then that's more of a problem on you than whoever you're trying to place the blame on. Facts. Facts. Uh, 100%. 100%. The thing is, your feelings and the way you act is your responsibility. If you don't know how to act, you need to go do the intrinsic work. Life is a mirror, not a window. It's not what other people are doing. Like Charleston White says, if I, I'm just throwing rocks and if it hits you, holla. If, if something somebody else is saying is triggering you, those are your emotions. It's triggering you. You need to learn how to act. But the thing is, accountability is kryptonite to these women. So you tell them something, they're like, no, it's not me, it's you. What is this? Oh, these women are just standing in the way. You gotta love this. This is not the first time we've seen this either. This dude just slowly backing up. What are y'all gonna do? Push up against a car? Car probably weighs a ton. Are y'all dumb? Stupid. <laughs> You're not getting that parking spot, clearly. <laughs> y'all are in the wrong, bro. Who are y'all gonna call? You gonna call the cops? Who, who are you gonna call for this? <laughs> I love the slowly backing up. Yeah, get it on video. Why are you standing in a park? It's a parking spot. Why are you standing in a parking spot? He's just going to get the spot and he's just going to go. <laughs> oh, where's the logic at with that? Where's the logic? Yes. I would not say so, no. Do you think I would say so if I knew you're... What's, what's your definition? I promise you. Technically, it's a fair fight. Two women against two opponents, a man and his trusty Jeep. Never been promiscuous. I would not say so, no. Do you think I would say so if I knew your... What's, what's your definition? Uh, what's your age, Hannah? I'm 30. No kidding. Sh mm -hmm. Shout out to you. You might have a good camera over there. <laughs> 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 I got to see everything in real life now. Do you know how many persons you've slept with? Yes. What number is that? <laughs> I'm, I'm, she's a runner. She's a track star. So I'm not going to answer that. Fair enough. So you're promiscuous. Uh, yeah, exactly. Because if body count doesn't matter, you would tell me your body count. But since it does matter, that's why you don't tell me. By my definition, my grandmother taught me this. She had a third grade education because uh, she had to stop going to school to pick cotton on her father's farm. This woman with a third grade education, she said anything that you have to hide, you're probably ashamed of. Mm -hmm. And if you're ashamed of it, it's probably bad. And I found that that's been Facts. true my entire life. That's never failed. Grandma was on to something all those years ago. That's probably Saint in the Center, Marquette Devon. De De I don't know how to say his name. I know it's Marquette, though. He's really good. Not the truth, but then when the truth is something you don't want, we have the problem. Mm -hmm. No, it can't work that way. 
Like my wife keeps giving me pop quizzes and she don't like that I'm brutally honest. She came home the other night, she goes, can I ask you a question? And can you answer it truthfully without worrying about my reaction? Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, sure. Set me up for she goes, disaster. I'm going to ask you and I want you to answer quickly so I know your answer is the truth. I said, go ahead. Am I your best friend? No. And Cass hit me with that. I said, no. She goes, I'm not your best friend. No, you're not even eighth on the list. Stupid question. She goes, how come? Give me a reason. I'll give you a couple reasons. I like fishing. You dig fish smell. I like hunting. You think it's cruelty to animals. I like golf. You think it's for old people. I like baseball. You think it's slow. I like basketball. You think it's fast. I like football. You don't understand the rules. I like playing video games. You think they're made for kids and you don't even watch How the you my best friend? <laughs> we have nothing in common. She goes, we have two kids. That should have been your first clue. I would have never got my best friend pregnant. Now it's stupid. Man's. <laughs> that was good. Uh, who is that? I don't know who that, uh, that was. That was actually funny. Complaining that men aren't asking them out enough. What are some of the biggest reasons why men aren't cold approaching anymore? Men don't cold approach anymore for the same reason that we don't go up and try to pet a wild animal that we see on the street. It's just well, yeah, not You get publicly humiliated nowadays. Most women won't even let you shoot your shot. You, you can't even do it without a woman ridiculing you. Worth it anymore. I think men are tired of getting the backlash. They're mm -hmm. tired of rep repetitive failures, attitude from women, getting called creeps. It's yep. just not worth it. You know, you go into it with a good intention, you get nothing in return so many times, you're just not going to bother with it anymore. Women nowadays are not approachable. That's it. Men don't want to get bitten. After a long I mean, he's right. Guys aren't approaching because it's absolutely, it's brutal out there. Back in the day, it was much easier. Like in college and high school. the back of that bathroom door, okay? It's time to wash them. I know y'all got a work bra, a bra to go to H-E-B-N, uh, we outside tonight bra. Them bras smell like every perfume that's on your dresser with a little bit of under the wire Go wash them bras. You gotta wash them on very delicate and nothing else can be in the washing machine. Cause I know y'all trying to make sure it hold its form. Texas is pretty big and I get it, but go wash them bras. Be delivered. You know, <laughs> go wash them bras. It's titty holders. Four. If I won the lottery. If you won the lottery? Yes. Think big. Think big. Yeah. I'd take half and I'd leave you. Go wow. live on an island somewhere by myself. Well, do I have news for you? I, on a scratcher, won 40 bucks. So you get half. That's 20. I love it. See you <laughs> when I see you, I guess. Later, bro. Pretty sure he had go, that go million. Go live on said island. Runners, dude. She's a runner, she's a track star. 100? I just want my PlayStation 5. I think it's okay, I don't think you need it. Can you leave me alone? I'm actually, it's okay. Like, you'll just take the cash, I'll take the PlayStation. We can call it a day. I waited in line for this. One, two, three. I don't want your money, I just want my PlayStation two. 5. Just take the cash, bud, and get on the way, okay? I don't want your cash. There you go, I'm that's sorry. a great, you're I don't want your cash. It's okay. Give me my PlayStation it's okay. 5. Excuse me? This lady is taking, taking my PlayStation, PlayStation. I'm gonna call the cops. Why are you pulling the car? Sir, you have the cash in your hand. It's no, mine. I don't. It's my PlayStation. Excuse me. This kid is taking my PlayStation. She's accusing him of stealing it. Can I go out there? Excuse sir, me, miss. Sir, yes, thank you. Thank you so much. He, this kid just clearly, it's my PlayStation, and he's trying to take it. Miss. Thank this you is for understanding. See, now, now you're in we trouble. We have you recorded. This is you're mine. the one trying to steal it from my, him. I'm, this I'm this actually, is his okay, PlayStation I'm, I'm 5. I'm going to call the cops now. Okay, miss, yeah, can I'm you let Walmart, go of the uh, PlayStation 5? No, this is mine. Thank you, sir. Miss, you can let go of it now. Miss, okay, we are recording it. What the hell? Oh, my God. I say women or children, bro. I can't believe that. This lady just that's, took my PlayStation That's okay, dude. How much did she give you? Like $500, I think. $600. Dude, she just paid 600 bucks for an empty PlayStation 5 box. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> got him. We got him. I'd say I she would take it. Put rocks in the thing. Let her take it, bro. The gaslighting Olympics, bro. This had to have been a skit. There's no way that was real, bro. Ooh, put those things down. No way. Oh my God. He hitting her with the cologne. He brought it with him too in the fanny. He brought him with it. He came with it. She's like, I stink. You're sour. Ugh. <laughs> struggling with a flat tire to help her pull over and yell go girl boss then peel out and drive away there you go helping her change the flat tire would be considered mansplaining and now oh, the opposite of mansplaining is she laborating 
learned a new term. Somebody in the Discord sent that. Would be disrespectful. Welcome to the matriarchy. It's yeah. all about equal opportunities until it's time to step up and do something yourselves. Mm -hmm. Okay, why do we end up popping hers? Um, I just don't think the physical attraction was there. Okay. You know, I mean, it's pretty much it. You know? Got a dump truck. It. So, uh, why did you have your balloon unpopped for him? Well, I thought he was cute, but then I had like some concerns. I don't even want me to say it or not. Say it. Okay, so I'm not trying to be funny. So I was like thinking like if you were like in my bed or something and I turned the fan on, like you would fly across my room because you're like really skinny. But I like skinny guys, but you're like really skinny. And then I was also thinking like if I was in the bed with you and I laid my head on your chest, it would feel like I'm laying on a pile of dishes or something. So I didn't want to, you know, yeah. but you're cute though. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'm 205 pounds, by the way. Oh. Um, okay. 205 pounds. That dude, yeah, he's not skinny by any means. That, that's but the thing funny. is, she's probably 230. So, I, mean, I know. You feel how you feel. This is what it is. There's no offense. I mean, no, I like no. skinny guys, you know, but. No, I appreciate you being honest. I was just you know? looking out for you, looking out for me, but <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> The purpose of the These game. These big women talking about I mean, it's going to be a bag of bones laying on your chest, helter skelter. Good lord. Percentage of men do you think, if presented with this scenario, would actually attack you? Like thirty, maybe. What do you think? What? I would say maybe like twenty percent, like one in five. You think roughly 50 one in five guys would attack? That's insanity. The five million men want. To Doing a I would like to say that the high estimates are coming from the idea that as women, we are conditioned to fear the idea of getting attacked by a man. Yeah, but that doesn't sound like it's very justified that they fear that. Are you a if, woman? When we, do I need to be a woman to note if it's justified by the numbers, whether you should fear that or not? I don't understand. Um, I don't Shouldn't think I be this able is to a use my game. logical brain, even if I don't have a brain to take note as to whether or not this is possible or not possible? Do, do I need to be a woman to note that 55 million men obviously and clearly don't want to you in a forest? Did I need to be a woman to know that? If you ask to the bear what Bro, it was You do not want to go back and forth with Andrew. He will straight cook you. By the way, if you uh, like Andrew's content, I have an interview with him on the channel. Go check it out. Take a year. Uh, 70K. What part of West Africa are you from? Ivory Coast. Do you have a husband? You living in that? You making seventy thousand dollars? We we came from talking about riding here to Osborne. Ma'am, you make seventy thousand dollars. Oh oh oh! Yeah, you you touching make seventy thousand dollars a year in that little shack and then your bedroom with you that. You start touching your beard, ma'am. Ma'am, I can tell. I'm really good at body language. Ma'am, ma'am, I can tell that you don't make no seventy thousand dollars a year. Look at that headboard. <laughs> Oh man, it's cooking. What you mean? Oh, because I have a bed like this? Yeah. I bought I bought this bed in IKEA. You crazy? Ma you don't make no seventy thousand dollars. Look at that. I'm looking at the headboard, ma'am. I'm looking at the clothes you're wearing, you're sleeping in. The woman that makes seventy thousand dollars wouldn't even be you sleeping know, in. You know, let me like let that. me tell you something. My bed is comfortable. You, it's comfortable. What's wrong with my bed? Are you sleeping though? She's like sleeping in a full size bed. Bro, chat, let me know what size bed you got in the chat. I got a king, personally. King, Tempur Pedic. Absolutely love the Tempur Pedic beds. No. Do we need men? No. Do we need men? Um, no. No? We don't need short men. Do you need a man? No. We don't need big women. Big back, big back. Do you need a man? Oh, God. Do you need a man? No. Do we need men? Why? No. Do we need men? No. No? Do we need men? We need men to make us stupid. Do we need men? Do we need men? Do women need men in this world? Young liberal women Crazy. are some of the least informed, most discriminatory people out there. And like, I look at single guys and honestly, I get it. If I were a guy single looking at like people like this as my dating prospects, I 100 percent would be running the other way. We'll see if these women are still so keen on not needing men 20 years in the future when all they have are their cats and their wine. Of course, they don't. Be so true. And the thing is, dude. 
80% of STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and math, is ran by men. And 80%, let's just get into the numbers. 80% of STEM is dominated by men. That means the 20% is dominated by women, right? I guess you can't call it dominated because it's only 20%. But if all the women were to be out of the workforce of STEM, 80% of the men would be able to sustain 100% of the men easily, easily. Because men keep the lights on, they keep the water running, they keep the phones being made, they handle the ports. Like, look at the whole thing with the ports happening right now. Like, all that stuff is ran and managed by men. Almost every single creation that we have right now, microphones, you know, computer screens, lights, everything that we use is made by men. Cars, electricity, like everything is, is what's created and managed by men. But you're saying we don't need men? The clothes that you have on your back was probably organized by a man to get it to you. Are you are you kidding me? Are you out of your mind? There's a genuine burning desire for you. She doesn't make rules for you. There's no, I don't do anything until at this point in time or until you take me out for a certain number of dinners. Women will break rules for men that they deem alpha and they'll make rules for guys that they deem to be bait. Liking someone Facts. was never this comp. Facts, man. Can't remember this guy's name, but he's good. What is it, entrepreneurs in cars? The court notified me that my final decree of divorce has been approved by the judge. Yay. That's I know that it sucks being alone. I come home and I'm alone. I go everywhere alone. That's what you wanted. I don't hardly talk to him anymore. That's what you wanted. I don't blame him. I filed for the divorce. So I'm sure Stupid. people are wondering, well, you filed. Why are you so upset? Why are you crying? Stupid. Just because you make a decision that you think is going to end up making things better doesn't mean that you have to give up the fact that you love that person or that you did it because you were trying or whatever. What? I've never met anybody like him and I've never loved anybody like him either, but I don't want a divorce. What, what you filed? I still am very much in love with my husband. Congratulations. It's like making a peanut butter and poop sandwich, taking a bite and be like, I didn't want to eat poop, <laughs> <laughs> but you made the sandwich. That is so dumb. How can you be this dumb? This is a grown woman. This is somebody's mama saying this. I'm mad that I divorced him and did this. Like, why? But this is because women are hypergamous in nature, man. They always think they want to do better. This is why I think you got to be a little bit toxic in some of these relationships, man. You got to give the, the, the give and the take. You can't always be the nice guy. You can't always be super logical. Sometimes you got to play their own games to keep them enticed. And here's another thing that I think a lot of guys don't do when they are in relationships. Take the time to miss your woman. And what I mean by that is like spend time apart. If you hang out together all the time, you just bicker more and you're bitter towards each other. I send Cass out to go do her thing. I record videos. She goes, go do retail. Go do something. Get out of the house. Get away from me. You know, and, and that's healthy sometimes to spend time apart. When you're always together, you can just become bitter towards each other. But also, I don't even, I don't think women can really have hobbies. I think women just like to fill up their days with tasks fill up their time with tasks. I believe men can have hobbies like hunting, fishing, playing video games. Those are hobbies. Those are things that you do that most of the time, you know, don't necessarily cost money. You just go out and do them. You spend some time doing them. But I don't think women have really ho hobbies. Women don't have hobbies. Drinking, going out drinking with your friends isn't a hobby. Going out to the bar, not a hobby. Club, not a hobby. But let me know, chat. Let me know what you think. Do you think women can have hobbies? I don't think they can. I think women just need to fill up their time with things to do. Which to me, that's not a hobby. Like, I bet most of you guys have a hobby. Chat, let me know in the comments right now. What is your favorite hobby? What do you like to do the most? Do you like to hunt? Do you like to fish? Do you like to, you know, go play outside with your dog? Do you like to play video games? Like, what is it that you like to do on your off time that's something you really enjoy then you consider your favorite hobby? Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality Makes You Irresistible to Women and Respected by Men. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.